because of my audience is like I talk to labor leaders, community organizers on a daily basis. They're no, you don't. On a daily basis, bro. Who are you trying to fool here? Position and because of my audience is like I talk to labor leaders, community organizers on a daily basis. They're my community. I hear what their problems are. I know what my struggle used to look like not that long ago in terms of like my own personal finances, having to budget everything. Oh my God, kill me. Was this when, was this when you, uh, with two rich parents, when you decided to uh, come to the United States after being rich in Turkey, and then you came to the US to be rich in the US, and then you worked? Remember how hard it was, to be fair, Hassan's job, his first job was, he was only making 60,000 a year to make videos for social media while having his college and everything taken care of by his rich mom and dad. Um, so that's that was kind of a struggle, I guess. These are financial problems not so far removed from my immediate experience. Obviously now in a dramatically different situation overall, but an Anderson Cooper might have never actually experienced those issues his entire life because he's a secret Vanderbilt. That's you! That's you, bro! That's who you are! You are that guy. Position. The bro, the pictures that you show to prove that you were fat as a kid is you like dressed up in a suit on a horse. Or, my bad, maybe that's just an ordinary Turkish education. Maybe everybody there wears nice uniforms and, and rides horses all day. I don't know that much about Turkish life. I'll be honest, I've never been there before. Maybe that's the norm. Maybe everybody does that. That's why they hate the f***ing herd so much. They're trying to take their horses away from all the children. Who knows? Jesus. Didn't your family have a family horse? <clears throat> yeah, a few years ago when they moved to their dumb place. We did take horseback riding lessons as kids, though. <laughs> but my family was upper middle class until I was like 13. I don't lie about that. I don't know how I wasn't spoiled as f Because right up to that point, our parents got us f Anything. I add. Ooh, that doesn't feel good. I just I was gonna say I had every console up to the uh PlayStation 2, but I guess that's not very many consoles anymore because <laughs> there's so many more of them. Ugh. But back then, okay. Yeah. There was a complex of streamers who were also coaxing ETH in certain ways as well. Exactly. Um, like they made like they made clips about me f***ing crying and then blasted it everywhere, making fun of me and being like, "Dude, imagine like he's he's fake crying." <laughs> it's it's hard. It's hard to. I like how. I mean, that, Hassan's that... way of explaining that leftovers ended and how it was actually DGG's fault. Because by the way, we're the source of all evil on the internet. We're the reason why Israel, the genocide, is still happening in Palestine. By the way, I like how we're. I like how the explanation is just Ethan is such a. Retard. He's so stupid and retarded that DGG and Destiny brainwashed him, mind raped him into thinking that Hassan is a bad guy when actually Hassan was a good guy the whole time. It was all it was all DGG's insidious planning behind the scenes and Ethan being a fucking retard. That's the story that Hassan wants to roll with. Okay. That was a weird ass time, dude. It is what it is. But I think it was, you know, there was a lot of cultists and losers, you know? Cultist fucking losers who just spend every waking moment online, and you stream like nine hours a day, bro. <laughs> what? Hello? Don't know how like normal people operate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tell us more, please. They don't understand like normal human emotion. It's the same principle behind dudes who are like, dude, he got so owned by that normal human emotion. Like you implying that Rittenhouse, some seventeen-year-old kid that was in a gunfight and ended up killing two people, must have been faking tears. Meanwhile, you're up here being like, "Oh, there was a funeral and a, and they shot at the funeral and it was so sad." And ripped the Palestinian life. flag. Oh, oh my God, he's crying. They ripped the Palestinian. Get the f out of here, dude. Crying. Yeah. What a f <laughs> bitch. You know. Can have a moment. Of that one guy who turned out to be a fucking ginormous racist. He got IRL cyber bullied. It's like, bro, how do you say that? How do you openly write that online without feeling a fucking shamelessness? Honest to God, I don't think any singular human being legitimately believes this. Believes okay. What? 
Let me just say this. Side, like I'm. The, I think it's crazy that they put me below. Like I'm. They're saying like Infowars, OAN, and Hasanabi. Like two sides of the same coin. I'm sorry, dude. If if you consider to me, if you, honest to God, I don't think any singular human being legitimately believes this. Okay. Let me just say this. I don't think a person actually unironically goes like Hassan. You are basically like the left wing equivalent of Alex Jones. Like I know that like uh, Destiny's community tries to say that all the time, which is kind of funny because I'm literally at the. NC right now. Hold on. Don't we call him left wing Steven Crowder? Do we call I thought we called him left wing Steven Steven Crowder more than left wing Alex Jones. No. And I have interviewed journalists and politicians who have openly been like, I'm a fan of you and I I, I love what you're doing. So I, I think that like puts it into perspective a little bit when you see so many journalists come up and be like, Yeah, I love what you're I love your work. Maybe that puts it into a journalists in big air quotes there. A little bit of a different framework for a lot of fucking losers online who constantly are like, yo, you're the same as Alex Jones. But like Still, regardless of that equation, okay, the fact that, like, someone would be like, oh, bro, you're the Alex Jones of the left, like, dude, this guy got a $1 billion, like, defamation suit for directly contributing to the plight of Sandy Hook school shooting victim families. Like, what are you saying? If you can find anything that is, like, if you can find anything, and, I, and I'm, I'm being really genuine right now, if you can find anything that is even remotely, like, like anything that is one-tenth, one-tenth as bad as that that I have done, Hats off to you. One tenth, which would not put me under Alex Jones or under Breitbart. Okay. Wow. Anyway, um, ultimately it doesn't really matter because, like I said, this is just like something that people love posting about uh, on Twitter. But that's it. Okay, that's it. Who is the LeBron James of streaming? I am. What is this? Israel ranks number one new list of non-apartheid countries that are... Wait, somebody said he, he mentioned something about suing me. Was that a lie? Did you just say that to get me to click this? Stupid video? Fun to visit. Caucasians all over the world has voted Israel as number one non-apartheid country to visit this zone. <laughs> anyway. It's like an Onion article, dude. It's not real, by the way. That's a, that's a meme. Do you have thoughts on such like ground to sort articles by bias? Um, ground news seems fine. I don't really know anything about ground news in general. I've like never worked with them. I know they sponsor a lot of uh, people. But um, I this is my ground news. You know what I mean? Like I Twitter. A fascist who's rooting for Trump is Netanyahu. But the Dems seemingly have no issues with sending him endless arms forever under the auspices of Israel's right to defend itself. I appreciate that, Destiny. All right, bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.